everyone, my name is Megan and yeah, I just wanted to get started by introducing myself. Um, I use they them pronouns and I'm a recent graduate of Lesley University and there I study art therapy and um, holistic psychology as well. So yeah, I just wanted to um, introduce myself a little bit. Uh, I was a former intern at TCP and that's how I've um, come to know this organization and yeah throughout my time there I have led some um, and co-facilitated some classes uh, yeah and my background is really art therapy so this might be a little bit different than what you've um, seen before or tried and that's okay <laughs> um, yeah I'm definitely here to guide you and yeah let's get started so now that you've got to know me a little bit, um, let's just dive right into what we're going to do today, which is, um, yeah, an art therapy directive. And if you're not familiar with that term, it's basically just um, an activity for, yeah, for us to try. So um, let me put the music on and we'll get into it. So what you will be needing today is a piece of paper. I have just, um, yeah, a mixed media book. This will be good. And just go ahead and open to a blank page. Let's see. There we go. And just figuring out which orientation you want your um, picture to be on, I guess, um, your art. You can do it this way or this way. Whatever really speaks to you, no right and wrong. And I'll be probably saying that a lot because in art therapy, there is no right and wrong way to do things. It's a little bit different than traditional art making where there is, you know, certain right and wrong things and techniques that you have to learn. But this is not that for today, not this class. Um, yeah, so really just tap into your creativity and just see what you can come up with. It's really about just that, just trying new things, experimenting, um, and having fun, really. I enjoy it, and I hope you do, too. So, I think I'm going to do this orientation, and continuing on with materials, um, paintbrush. I'm using just a big, kind of flat one, if you can see, and some glue, Elmer's glue, like in the tube will work, glue stick will work. I just have um, Mod Podge, which is <laughs> um, this little jar. It's basically glue, sealer, yeah, glue, and scissors, preferably, you know, a pair that works. <laughs> um, yeah, scissors, and just collage material. That could be really anything. I found some stickers, some fun stickers. I found um, old photo, uh, what are these? Old like texts that I printed off a long time ago and like hung up on my wall and since taken them down. So yeah, just some of these, some images. I also have a bunch of these like paint chips and I thought that'd be cool to just play with, um, yeah, make sure you don't like need them for anything, obviously, but these are all ones that I can experiment with, like, a lot of them. <laughs> these were actually from trying to figure out what color to paint this wall, fun tip. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, some newspapers, just, you know, save them from, from the recycling, so really whatever you have laying around will work for this you know there's some images here and maybe you're not really pulled to newspapers because they kind of are stressful you know they're about the world events so maybe you do use them maybe you don't totally up to you and then i have this like just fun book of like what is this printed cardstock so yeah i just got this and i thought it'd be cool to like play with it's just a bunch of like different words, um, like patterns. I don't know if you see it, it's like holographic. Oh, there you go. Um, 
like really about outer space, which is kind of cool. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. And again, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. It can literally be newspaper, you know, like it, whatever you have laying around. Um, magazines will work. Catalogs are more like trying to sell you stuff. So they probably won't work as well, but you can try them, you know, like whatever is like kind of pulling towards you. Maybe you have some pictures of like your family or your friends or your pet, you know, whatever. So yeah, and then just in case you want them, I have markers. Feel free to use markers, colored pencils, um, any kind of like color, coloring like materials. That's cool if you have like watercolor. Like, yeah, I think you get the point. <laughs> There's like a lot of possibilities and whatever you have laying around and you wanna bring into this space, I totally encourage it. So yeah, and if you have like paints, you're gonna need a water cup and maybe if you're having like a lot of different paint brushes you'll need like just an old bag or um paper towel <laughs> to clean your brushes as you change colors Whew, i feel like that was a lot so yeah moral of the story have any materials that call to you that's like a quick way to put it <laughs> okay um yeah without further ado i think we'll just dive right in Materials done, introduction done. Now we can get to the fun stuff. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna go for it. Um, and a little thing in the back of your mind, um, the prompt you could say is all about introducing yourself and what you would like to communicate. What do you wanna show um, from this collage or an art making process? So. Um, who are you and what is it that's important to you? Like, what are you trying to communicate? Yeah, so interpret that in any way you would want to. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't feel like a box if you don't want it to be. So, yeah, so just thinking about that, introducing yourself, what do you want to share? Okay. Um, let's see get my glue oh gosh it's like sealed tip if you can't like open something it's like obviously glued shut um <laughs> or paints can do this too um if you haven't used them in a while i like to just like grab somewhere that's like not weird um and then like yeah just grab the rag and like wrap around it let's see if this works oh look at that and it's like way easier i don't know why but yeah, fun tip. We'll put that over there. Cool. And then I'll just look through my images. And you know, this time you might be flipping through a catalog. It totally depends on kind of what materials you have at your disposal. So no right or wrong way, like I said, just whatever is calling to you and whatever you want to share. You know, I don't really have a huge idea in the back of my head. I'm just trusting the process. And that's the other thing about art therapy. It's really all about the process, not so much the product. Process, not product. So it doesn't have to look a certain way or, you know, be hanging in the, in the museum, in the MFA or anything like that. It's honestly just what's coming from you and what you want to express. And that's what I love about it so much. So just cutting out some words that really speak to me. I think I'll leave that a square. And just start playing around like you know, how does it look on your piece of paper? Where do you want to lay them out? Totally up to you. My favorite color is yellow, so I think I'll use this like yellow paint chip thing.
just putting out some images. I don't know if you can see that. They're like a bouquet of roses. Because I really like plants, so I'm going to add that in. Cool. And if you have like stickers, I forgot to mention like, I just found some stickers. Stickers are cool. Um, yeah, you can really make this your experience. You're playing around with orientation. What does it look to do it sideways? Maybe flip it upside down. And how I got into um, art therapy um, as a major and really like the path of it is I just found in high school that art was like a big um, part of my life like a huge deal for me and and then it kind of transitioned from art making to like the process of it instead of like the product of it. And it just kind of really took off from there. And I I found online, actually my mom did. <laughs> she was like, um, have you ever heard of art therapy? And I was like, no, I've never heard of that. And it turns out it was a major. And yeah, that's really how I got into it. Like blending art and psychology. And that's what really art therapy is. So yeah. And when I've told people, they're like, oh, what are you studying? And I say art therapy, they're like, wow, oh. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like a lot of people haven't heard of it. Again, just looking through, finding what speaks to me. Just cutting things out. I was gonna say something I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, I remember. Okay. Um I'll I'll be sharing at the end too, because I know it's kinda hard to see what I'm working on. And I love sharing art, that's what it's all about. I mean if you wanna if you're if you feel comfortable sharing, awesome. And I know art therapy can be pretty intimidating to somebody who's never tried it. So I just want to say, even you like trying something new and trying something different, a little bit maybe outside of your comfort zone, that's like awesome. And just trying this is like very awesome of you, <laughs> um, if I can say that. 
I think it is. And I'm just laying things out right now. I'm not necessarily like gluing them down because I want to get like the whole layout. But if you want to like glue as you go along, you know, it is your creation. I think I'm going to look through this book. Honestly, I've like been looking at it and it's been in the back of my mind, but I've not like found something to like create with it. So this is a good, maybe collage. Maybe that's what it's for. I honestly don't really know. Card stuff. Maybe like cards? I don't know. It would make sense. Yeah, I've been seeing these like at like the art stores, like Michael's and I think they're really cool. Oh. Let's see. And again, like just come back to what are you trying to communicate? Like who are you and like what do you want to share? What do I want to share? Gosh, they're all so cool. This is hard. <laughs> I like them all. And they're like reversible, you know what I mean? Like they have something on the front and the back, so I feel bad, like, because I can't use the thing on the back if I'm using the thing on the front. I actually haven't looked through this yet, so I'm finding so many. Oh. Yeah, and I just, I just want to point out that like, they will move around because they're not glued down, so if you don't want them to move around, like, don't brush them or like, blow on them or anything, because they will move. <laughs> oh. Indecision. Oh, see? That's what I'm talking about. Stay. Where'd my scissors go? You don't lose your scissors. <laughs> And when in doubt, just like go to what first speaks to you. That's a good tip, I think. Let's see. See what I mean? They're like flying back. Kind of fun. And honestly, you can like take your time with this. Um, you know, there's no need to rush. And say if you're still creating when I wrap up, you can always come like back to this. Um, yeah, that's the beauty of art. You can always add. Cut out shapes. Ooh, that's a good idea. I'm kind of playing with like patterns and like solids. See how it comes out like what do you want to put on top of like you know you can create layers like put something underneath something put something on top of something mm. 
Mm. And if you find like that you wanted to use something and you didn't get to it, like find a spot to add it in or just kind of save that for the next one, you know? I think it's so cool that when you begin, you have no idea what you're going to create. And then it just like comes alive. Love that. It's like my favorite thing. So just playing around with the layout. I am. I mean. <laughs> You can always like take a second and like think about what you're doing or just stopping and like pausing and seeing like where you are is a good idea. It's a little bit cold now. I'm looking back like maybe from a different angle. Don't forget to glue it down. I might start doing that. It feels, it feels like a pretty solid, solid layout and I'm pretty happy with it. So I think I'll start gluing it down. Let's see. You might have to like move things around just so you can have a little bit of a workspace and you gotta obviously take some pieces off to get to the underneath layers and layers below let's see oh and the tip you can oh <laughs> so that doesn't happen um you can take like your newspapers or like a magazine and honestly just like um you see that Boop. glue like right on top of that so it doesn't matter and you can go right to the edge instead of painting glue all over your table or or if you're squirting glue, sometimes it can just be like going everywhere. And again, this is just like scrap paper essentially. So it doesn't matter if I get all over it. It's not like someone's actually going to read the paper after. Because I saved it from the recycling.
I was trying so hard not to get oh glue oh okay <laughs> I was trying so hard not to get glue on the table because it's my brother's and <laughs> not mine just blurring it okay and you might want to hold it down I'm I'm just speaking for people who have never glued anything before but maybe you already know and kind of seal it down And then you can start kind of building your layers. I realize that it might be quite obvious that you have to hold it down, but maybe you've never done a collage, so I speak for all those people too. Addressing the whole audience. Glitter and glue, those are like the two things that just magically end up everywhere when I'm working with them. <laughs> like at the art store, I went to the, the glitter section and <laughs> literally it was like already everywhere and I was like, what? Nobody even opened these yet. It's, it's really amazing how it just like finds its way. Hmm, I feel like I have something else up. Oh. You might lose some pieces underneath other pieces. Yeah, this stuff is great. Mod, mod, podge. Kind of hard to pronounce for me, I don't know. Because it, it's also a seal, a sealing device. What is it called? Sealant? Yeah, sealant. Like, say you paint something over, well, I'm just gonna say, I did my laptop case, so I like sealed, I sealed acrylic with this. So it's kind of like a clear coat over it, so it won't like scratch anymore, which is really nice. I wish I found that out sooner. I just want to share that tip. Okay. There you go. Yeah, I was like looking at that big spot and I was like, something's missing. There we go. And again, just kind of smoothing it out. It kind of crinkles. And I don't think I said that this in the beginning, maybe I should have. Um, I don't know if collage would work on like, say printer paper or notebook paper. You might need like a little bit of a heftier paper, if that, like a thicker paper, if that makes sense. Like I'm working on mixed media paper. That just means you can paint on it and it'll like, you know, not bleed through essentially. Or you can draw on it or collage or charcoal. I should have said that before, but at least I got it out <laughs> before the video is over. Okay. I forgot where I wanted this to go. Right there. Checking the time. I believe it's five ten. And if you are working with glue on a paintbrush, you're gonna want to wash the paintbrush like immediately after you finish working with the glue, because I can only imagine it would, you know, glue the bristles together. That's also why I have a water cup, just in case I have to like, say I want to cut more things out, I could dip it in just so it doesn't like dry out. That's just what I do. I love finding like tips and tricks, so 
that's just why I'm sharing. So my tips and tricks. <laughs> And again, I found these all out just literally by doing them, you know? So if I could stop your, br your brushes from, you know, having to be thrown away, I will, <laughs> if I could do that. And then I'm just pushing it down again. I like to kind of go around the edges too. I, I can always see that they kind of like want to peel up. But if you're going for that effect, you want them to peel up. You can always slide a bit more glue in there. I noticed I glued the wrong side, but I saved it. And if I could recommend like a bigger brush, if you're working with this, I would, I would recommend that. <laughs> Just so you get more coverage, you know, you don't want them to go in with like a little tiny one because you're not trying to get like little details, you're just trying to glob it on there. I also find it kind of funny how once you kind of rearrange the format to glue it on, it it like rearranges a little bit. I know I just said that. You know, it like shifts. It's, it wasn't as you like planned it to be and that's okay. Honestly, I think it like turns out better when you just like are naturally going from gluing. Don't know why. It's just how I feel. <laughs> No right, no wrong, just doing it. I like to like give that encouragement in the art making process, like before as well as in the art making process because some people can get a little frustrated that, you know, it doesn't look a certain way or it's not what they pictured or um, <laughs> I say that as I'm peeling something back to make it look better. <laughs> um, yeah, where was I going with that? <laughs> um, people can get kind of frustrated that it doesn't look a certain way. Hmm. Yeah. So I like to just say that there is no right, no wrong. Good reminder too. I dropped a piece. I tell you, they go flying. Cause it can be honestly sometimes like intimidating if you haven't really done art in a while or really never really done it before, that's also 
some people's experience. Okay. Or you could honestly just put glue on the paper and then put this down. A couple of options. You could paint over the image, maybe with a little bit of glue, just to seal it in there. And I know that this will dry transparent. I think, I'm not sure if you're working with like, like a purple, you know, those purple glue sticks. I think those dry transparent, don't quote me on that because I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a purple glue stick, so I don't know. So you might not want to go over things with purple glue sticks. That's the moral of the story. It's a good question. I'm sure the clear ones would. I don't know. Can have to experiment with that. And if you want to share your collage with me, that'd be so awesome. Only if you want to, I'm not gonna like, obviously like make you. Honestly, it's not, it's like a personal choice and it can be like super personal, but I would love, love, love if you feel comfortable sharing and you don't mind. I would love to see your work. Just opening that door if you wanna walk through it. <laughs> um, and I just want to say my email in case you do want to send it. So it's all lowercase m curry, like the spice C U R Y M curry at Leslie, all lowercase L E S L E Y Leslie at, um, sorry, m curry four, <laughs> the letter four, the number four. <laughs> wow mcray4 at leslie.edu, all lowercase. Okay, that was a struggle, but we did it. Yeah, just putting that out there if you want to. And just say like something in the subject like, um, art therapy directive from TCP or something like that. Say that's pretty solid. I'm just gonna put this in the water Boop. and seal this back up. Even though I know it's gonna glue shut anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I got glue on my hands. So I just want to share. We're at that time closing up. So I want to share what I've created because I feel totally comfortable. Until you get like close enough up. So here we go. So I did it this orientation here. Let me get a little closer. It's still a little wet. Can you see it? There we go. So I did, you know, some layering, some cool shapes. Ooh, right there. Um, some stuff sideways. What else did I do? Some quotes. So it's like a mix of images and quotes. I put mental health because that's really important to me. That's like something I'm trying to communicate, you know. That's why I put it. And it jumped out at me. What's that say? I can't read backwards. Silence is sometimes golden. Do my thing. Big dreams, good music. And then this says, um, they make you fear your imperfections, but in fact they are the diamond of your being. That's 
what I did. Let me put it back. And I'm just gonna leave it open so it can dry. I don't know if I already said that. So it can just like dry and not stick to another like piece of paper. Because if I close it right now, it would probably stick to the previous page and I don't want that. <laughs> so yeah, we've reached the end. Oh, I didn't use any of the stickers. I'm gonna. <laughs> See, that's, this is what I'm talking about, that you can always add or, well, can you subtract? I, I mean, I guess you could. But as I'm doing this, I just want to thank you for coming along this journey. And I hope you had fun with it. I, at the bare minimum, you tried. And that's, that's awesome, I'm super proud of you. And you could even do this on your own, you know? Um, maybe collaging feels good, you know? Maybe it doesn't have to be in class or, you know, for somebody. It can just be for you. And yeah, I really like this. I might even like frame it, who knows? But you don't have to. You can honestly just keep it in your sketchbook and shove it away wherever you shove things. <laughs> um, for me that's under my bed <laughs> um okay okay <laughs> i just want to thank you for um trying and yeah putting some time and energy and effort into it and if you want to send me your creations i'm all for that super open can't say it enough um yeah if you have any art therapy questions or want to learn more just want to talk about it want more ideas um yeah super open for that too um yeah i think that's all i wanted to cover so thanks again and yeah thanks um hope you have a great day slash evening um yeah bye <laughs>